What's good, spiritual family? I hope everybody having a great day. You know what I'm saying? With good vibrations only, because y'all deserve that. Now, I want to let y'all know before I even start the video. Hey, look at this. Look at this right quick. I want y'all to look at this. Look at that beautiful pine tree right there. Looking all good like that. Just look at that thing right there. They got a couple little ones right here. You know what I'm saying? Got a big old field right here. Got some water over there. Hey, yo, it's a vibe out here right now. What I wanted to talk about was really being like... Now, nah, I'm not going to even start it off like that. I'm going to just say this. Us human beings... Well, we, I, I call us spiritual beings. But you know what I'm saying? Us human beings... When we came into the world, we always had desires to be more. You know what I'm saying? To be more than just a human being. You know what I'm saying? We always put ourselves in a category like, if you do this or if you do that, you're, in a higher, you're on a higher level than somebody else. We made it natural to feel like we was the superior being. Now, with that being said, I feel like meditation is the answer. To no longer feeling like you're the superior being, but feeling like you're one with everything. But it's hard to feel that way, family. I've been meditating myself for like a year or so. So I feel like if you know the answer to how to accomplish ego death, and I felt ego death. You know what I'm saying? I did shrooms before. I've totally felt it. But if you know the answer on how to accomplish it, comment below. Comment below. And also comment what's your defin like what's your definition of ego death? What makes you feel like you're no longer like you feel like nothing? In the best sense possible, like you feel like nothing. You feel like you feel like you're one with everything, therefore, you feel like nothing. You know what I'm saying? You feel like you're not more superior to anything. You loving everything unconditionally. You know what I'm saying? You loving yourself. And you're treating everybody else like it's yourself. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm just venting right now in this video. So I probably will be everywhere. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to put this out there. And if y'all got... I want to really talk to you all in the comments. You know what I'm saying? I want to see where y'all's heads at. Because I understand that everybody is on a different path. But we're on the same spiritual journey. So you might learn something that I've, I've yet to learn. But I am definitely open, like I'm open-minded. And I'm open to receiving messages. I feel like the mind, I feel like the human mind comes to conclusion a lot. Therefore, therefore we settle for less. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of information out there that we can get if we was open to receiving. But majority of us aren't. Therefore we come to conclusion and feel like this is the answer. Reincarnation, this is the answer. You know what I'm saying? Fifth dimension, this is the answer. Crystals, this is the answer. I'm not saying it's not the answer, family. I'm just saying when people find, find the answer that they feel is the answer, they no longer look for any other answers. I feel like human beings do that. You know what I'm saying? A tiger won't say, Oh, I got to do this and do this and do this to be a great tiger. A tiger just, a, like Saguru said, a tiger just wants a meal. A human being feel like you got to be a lawyer. You got to go and get a lot of money. You got to obtain a lot of money. You got to get this. You got to get this to be successful. When in reality, as long as you got inner peace, and you loving everything else around you and loving yourself, I don't see how you not, how, like, how you're not successful. Damn, hey, fucking, what was in my ear? I don't see how you're not successful, family. But I feel like human beings, we're looking at everything else. And going off what society says is success. You know what I'm saying? If society says you get this, you're successful, we're going to try to get that. And then once you get that, you feel like, who can, who can say I'm not successful? I got this, I got this, I got this. When the person on the block that don't have nothing, probably has more inner peace than you. I would say he's the one that's successful, but who's to say I'm right? 
when there is no right or wrong answer. It's just so so many deep things I be thinking about, family. Like, another thing. Everybody says that you come here off your karma, right? You know what I'm saying? You have to keep on repeating this process. That's how re reincarnation comes about. What put us here? You know what I'm saying? What put us here? How did this karma thing even start? If you feel like you know the answer to that, comment in the like comment below. You know what I'm saying? Open your mouth. Let me know some things. Cause we are family here, and I'm not a guru. I want to learn from you. I feel like human beings honestly just come to conclusion a lot. Settling for less. And I'm not trying to be that human being. I want to listen. I want to be open. I want to be open to receiving. Anything. If you think a cow is your God, I want to listen and understand why you feel that way. On my spiritual, on my spiritual journey, I want to listen to everyone's perception of life. And see if I can add it. See if it will benefit me in a way. If not, if I don't resonate with it, cool. If I do, cool. But I will not come to conclusion about anything. That is not fair to myself. You know what I'm saying? If they say that we was put on this earth realm to live out a human experience, like to be a spiritual being, living out a human experience, and you come to conclusion, is that fair to you? Is that fair to you? You know what I'm saying? Us human beings, we judge every single thing, but we never look deeper into ourselves. You know what I'm saying? This world will be a better place if everybody went within, and y'all know that. But will we, like, will we ever get to that point? I don't know. I feel like a lot of people is waking up, though. I know y'all sent something crazy in the air. A lot of people is waking up right now. And like I said, in, uh, like about, what, seven videos back, the government is waking up to us waking up. They're like, oh, these niggas on to something. They finding out the truth. They looking for the truth. You know what I'm saying? And we got to lower their vibration. That's why I'm telling everybody to keep your vibration high. Every single video, I try to get on here and let you know to keep your vibration high. Because it's so important. Because we got people that's, you know what I'm saying? We got it. The government is against us. We got people that's against us and we don't even know because we so in tune with the moment. So you got to keep your vibration high because once they get you down, it's going to be harder to get back up. Once you get in tune with the universe, you don't want to fall out of tune. You want to stay in tune. Because once you fall out of tune, it's going to be harder. It's going to be hard to get back in tune with the universe. You can't get lost in the sauce. I just wanted to get on here and really vent, you know what I'm saying? Really, like, talk about what's been on my mind lately. I also want to talk about how, like, meditation really been helping me out. I think I stopped meditating for, like, three days. And I started to see, like, right after three days, I started to see how the clutter will build back up in my mind. When you meditate, not only does it bring you inner peace, not only does it allow you to be more in tune with the universe, it allows you... To remove that clutter out of your mind so you can think clearly. So your mind won't have anything on it. No matter the stress, stressful situations that come about. You know what I'm saying? No matter the stressful situations that come about. You will look at it for what it is. You will not dwell on it, but you will look at it for what it is. You know what I'm saying? I feel like human beings take life too seriously. We want to feel too special. When really we should feel like we're nothing. We're not superior. We take life too seriously. Like you get a bill, you gonna let that shit fuck up your whole vibe, my nigga. Your girl break up with you, that done fucked up your whole vibe, my nigga. When life is really deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? When life is really deeper than that. Your soul supposedly, like... Your soul, what they say about reincarnation, it been through here a million times already. So you're trying to learn, my nigga. You're trying to grow. It's got to be deeper than the light bill. It's got to be deeper than judging somebody else. It's got to be deeper than dwelling over a heartbreak. It's got to be deeper than dwelling over death. It's got to be deeper than that. But the only way you're going to be able to, you know what I'm saying? The only way you're going to be able to overcome dwelling on anything is going within... And being consistent as hell. 
Because I've been doing this forever. And I can't say that I'm perfect. I'm not dwelling on things. You know what I'm saying? If my girl was to leave me today, I'm a Philly. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of people say, like, it's natural to feel things. But I think that you can get to a point where you just let it be. You just let it be. If the light bill comes in and it's turned up, you know what I'm saying? They had something like $400. You let it be. You ask the universe for it and you work to solve the solution, but you don't dwell on it. If somebody want to leave your life, you let it be. If somebody, if somebody pass away, you let it be. You understand the process, like the process of life itself. You know what I'm saying? That's why I went. I, I just wanted to get on here and talk to you all. Comment below on everything that I just now spoke on. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't opened your mouth about anything that you're feeling spirit, like spiritually, comment below. You know what I'm saying? Or start a YouTube channel. And I'm going to subscribe to you, baby. You already know what I'm on. I'm going to subscribe to you. But I just wanted to get on here and vent with you all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to take your whole day up. But I do feel like, like, to end it all off, I do feel like humans come to conclusion a lot settle, settling for less. You know what I'm saying? That's settling for less. Spiritual beings are settling for less. We are here to real, like to learn about everything on this earth realm. There's so many things, a billion, like, you know what I'm saying? A trillion things to learn about. But we come to conclusion about this one thing. Cutting it short of a million things to learn about. Don't let that be you. We're on this journey together, and it's just getting more beautiful. Even though the world is getting more crazy, this journey is getting more beautiful. Because with the world throwing different things at you, you are able to learn more things about yourself than you've ever been, been able to learn before. We've never been in a pandemic. I've never been in a pandemic. I'm learning stuff about my character that I've never been able to learn before. Use this time to build yourself. Use this time to grow within. Use this time to go within. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about the thing on the outside. Don't worry about, don't dwell on things. And I know that's easier said than done. But try to make it a habit and be consistent. That's all you can do. And that might not take 30 days to make a habit because I've been doing that for a long time and I still dwell on certain things. We was programmed. Let's, unpro like, let's, let's reprogram. That's all we can do, family. You know what I'm saying? I love you all. I just wanted to get in here and like talk a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep on posting these type of videos because sometimes I be needing somebody to talk to. I be needing somebody to vent to. Y'all not the only people that don't feel like, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm not lonely, but I am alone. I got so many things that I wonder on my mind that really I can't voice to everybody because I don't want them to look at me some type of way. Not that I care. But how is that going to help me? So I thought I'd get on here and talk to you all. My family. My spiritual family. With that being said, I love you all. I hope you keep your vibrations high. Comment below what you feeling. Like, comment below what you feeling about everything. I'm going to read it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you a genuine response. And I'm like, I'm really going to take it in. And absorb what you said. I appreciate you all. For the love and support. And I want to let you know. Y'all keeping me going. Y'all keeping a smile on my face. Y'all keeping me going. I'm on this journey and it's not easy for me as well. And it's not easy for you. That's why I'm saying we're, we're doing this together. Stay strong. Stay strong. You know what I'm saying? And stay within. Stay in tune. That's all that really matters. Nothing really else matters. You a God. Act like it. I love you all. Have a great day. Peace.